we are going to be making paper beads today. In fact, you're going to need paper of some kind. You can use just any plain colored paper. Mine is already drawn on. You could use magazine clippings. You could also use a newspaper. You're going to need scissors. You're going to need glue of some kind, so it could be liquid glue. It could also be a glue stick. Both of those work. You're going to need something that's going to roll up your bead. So maybe it's a pencil, maybe it's a marker or a Sharpie. You also need some sort of string. So if you have yarn at home, that's great. Or maybe you have some thicker cord at home. You even could use, whoops, some dental floss. Like I said, there's so many different types of paper you can use to make your paper beads. If you have plain paper, I'm going to show you a way you can decorate it. You can also, like I said, use magazines or newspaper. So if you draw on your paper with marker, and then you get a little bit of water and a brush, you can brush it around and move it as if it's watercolors. So here I've kept in mind colors that look good together blended, like with my yellow and red stripes. I knew I would get orange if I blended those together. So you're simply drawing on the paper and then spreading around the marker with a little bit of water. So these are just some different ways I filled up my paper. This one I used the marker with water, treating it like watercolors. This one I attempted to do a crayon rubbing. Um, and here I just drew on a paper to fill up as much space as I could, trying to leave no empty spots. So if you did the marker with water, you're going to want to wait for it to dry to do the next step. So you can use the paper that you made, that you designed, or what I've been doing is I've been using old magazines that I have and also newspapers and taking the colorful parts and using those to make beads with. So I will show you both. Before you start cutting and getting started, I want you to think about the supplies that you have at home. If you are going to make a necklace or a bracelet or a keychain and you want to put these beads on a piece of string, think about the string that you have at home. Is it thin or is it thick? You could even use floss if you want really thin beads. Or is what you have at home bulky and big? So this is really important when you're thinking about how you're going to make your beads. If you only have really big string at home, maybe you're going to be wanting to make beads that are really wide so we can easily string onto it. If you are using something thinner, or maybe even floss, then you can start to make beads that are a little bit smaller. So you're gonna start by taking your materials, whatever paper you're using, and you're going to cut it into long strips. They can be either rectangles or triangles. If you wanna get fancy, I will upload a video at some point um, about some beads that are challenges that are, the longer that you make them, the bulkier they're going to be in some areas depending on the shape. But today we're going to stick with triangles and rectangles. So you're going to have to play with it. You're going to have to see what works best for you. Um, about the length of your triangles or rectangles. If you are rolling your um, paper and trying to make a wide bead, then you're probably going to be using an object, maybe like a glue stick or a thick marker to roll your bead around. If you are making a small bead like this, then maybe you're using a pencil to roll your bead and you'll see what I mean by that. So if you are doing a thicker bead and using like a glue stick, something wide, you're going to want to have a longer strip because you have more material that needs to get wrapped around a bigger surface. So keep that in mind. It's going to take a few tries to get it right. So this one I'm going to make into a triangle. I'm going to make it a triangle on its side. I've been making mine about seven or eight inches long, but it depends on what works best for you. Maybe cut a few and try them out and then adjust based on that. You can make some wider and some skinnier. If you cut your triangle with a wide base like this, then you're gonna end up with a much bigger bead. This one I cut my paper pretty wide for it. Um, if you have a roll that's like this, 
then you're going to end up with a bead that is much skinnier. I'm gonna start off with this strip of paper and I'm going to be making some skinnier beads so I'm gonna be using a pencil to roll mine on. You want the side that you want to show facing down because we're going to be rolling it up like this. And if you roll with the side your color's on, then you're just gonna see white. You won't see that lovely color that you created. So I'm flipping it over, putting my pencil at the end of the strip. And the only part you really need to worry about gluing is the very end, the last about three inches there. You could use a glue stick. You can also use liquid glue. They both work really well. So I'm going to glue that last bit of my strip here. Same thing if you're using a triangle strip of paper as well. And you're just going to roll your pencil up. The reason we're not gluing down here is you might accidentally get glue on your pencil and then your bead would get stuck to your pencil, it wouldn't come off. So you can use anything that is round. It could be a pencil, it could be a marker. If you wanted a really small bead, it could even be a toothpick. And at the end, I'm just going to press down to make sure it stays nice and firm. You might have to lip, lift up the flap and put a little bit of extra glue in there. Hold it in place. And then you can slide your bead off and it's ready to use. Let it dry for a few minutes though. And that looks really nice. Same thing if you're using a triangular piece. You're going to flip it over so the color is on the bottom. You're going to get your pencil or whatever you're using ready and you're going to glue the very end If you've made some longer beads, you can also cut them. The one on the end might not survive if it is a triangle bead because there's no glue there, but most of them should. I'm gonna start to string my beads together. Um, I should make some more beads, but I just wanna show you quickly. my bracelet all together. You will probably have more beads that you're making, but I just put a few together here. 